I had been working as a software developer for I think about a year and a half. I just graduated from university at the time and was very busy working six days a week. And um, life was good, but um, it changed very, very quickly after my brain injury. I had um, a sort of brain tumour called the cyst. It was in the middle of my brain, in the place called the third ventricle. And to operate on it, they, they had to cut into my brain. And um, I think in, in doing that, some of the memory structures were, were damaged and some other structures in the brain were damaged as well. My memory was so bad when I was in hospital, when I had a wash, and I'd finished drawing myself up. I wouldn't remember that I'd actually had a wash. For a couple of times, I spent hours in the bathroom without being aware that I'd been there for quite a while. And there was sometimes that I did it over and over again. My memory is quite badly impaired. I find it difficult to concentrate over a long period of time, but the bigger problem is fatigue. I'm always very sleepy and very tired. And the fatigue also includes um, physical pains, muscles and bones. I can sort of make sense of the world about me by using my reasoning, but I, I don't generally remember from day to day very clearly what's going on. If, if, if you'd asked me what I did yesterday, I probably wouldn't be able to tell, but because I wrote it down, then it's easier to sort of remember, or at least retrieve the memories. There are some entries here where I've written, um, did not write anything down. I, I have no idea what I did for the day. I carry these pictures around in order to be able to justify myself because I, I look well, but I, I can't work. And I, without this, it's difficult for anyone to believe that I've got any problems whatsoever. The only thing that makes me anxious is not being able to hold down a job. Yeah. And not knowing what the future holds. That, that's the only psychologically worrying thing. But the memory impairment, you, you sort of get used to that. I have a joke about it. It's that I've, I've become senile before my old age. So I have experience before I, get, before I become a pensioner. I know what to expect. Before my brain injury, I was someone who planned for the future a lot. I, I, I planned for everything, but now, just take it one day at a time. I, I have no hopes or desires at all. Just taking it one day at a time and see what each day brings. And be thankful for each day as it comes. 